Besides the winning glory, what a fighter takes home that lasts forever is the physical damage received. At times, we tend to forget about the fatalities MMA fighters suffered during a match. Since the late 1990s, there have been a total of eight deaths in MMA history. Although these unfortunate events occurred at small shows, it's stained like wine on a white cloth. Here in this video, we will discuss some lethal damage that ended fighters' careers in the MMA world. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and share this video. Evangelista Cyborg Santos Retired Brazilian martial artist Evangelista Santos, who is professionally known as Cyborg, is a veteran of the sport with 21 wins out of 40 matches. Santos competed for Bellator MMA, Strike Force, the Pride Fighting Championships, Cage Rage, World Victory Road, and International Vale Tudo Championships. Unfortunately, Cyborg's career came to an end after being left weak on his knees by English MMA fighter Michael Venom Page. During his fight with Venom, Cyborg ducked as he stepped forward, quickly throwing a body punch while Venom perfectly timed a flying knee to his head. That particular kick sent Cyborg into great agony, leaving him with a fractured skull and a visible dent in his forehead where the knee had landed. Following seven hours of surgery, he insisted on making a comeback. Cyborg decided not to risk it and announced his retirement. Jeff Dunbar The 29-year-old amateur mixed martial arts fighter, Jeff Dunbar, hit rock bottom during his bout with Rudy Bahania. Barely a minute into the fight, Jeff struggled to get past Bahania's grasp. Despite his several tries, Dunbar lost balance falling forward and spiking his head into the canvas with Bahania landing on top of him. Rudy completed the chokehold and was declared the winner. On the other hand, Dunbar was rushed to nearby proven St. Joseph's Medical Center. Test results showed no severe head injuries, but he had two dislocated vertebrae crushing his spinal cord. Dunbar's dreams were crushed after this. Cody Stevens Professionally known as the Wolverine in the MMA world, Cody's career ended with one of the most deadly injuries ever seen in the history of MMA. With a record of 14 wins, 11 losses, and one draw, Cody faced Aaron Mitchell at Honor FC 6 in 2018. During the second round of the fight, a strike exchange led Mitchell's thumb directly into Steven's eye socket, which completely punctured Cody's eyeball. Most of the fluid in the eye was lost. Although doctors were able to preserve his eye, he was legally blind in that eye and had chances of losing it due to scar tissue, retina detachment, and shrinkage of the organ. The injury ended Cody's MMA career, but not his passion for the sport. He currently teaches MMA classes in his gym. James Tehuna Retired New Zealand MMA fighter James Tehuna came down to the ring to face Steve Bossy on March 20th, 2016 at UFC Fight Night 85 after being sidelined for 2015 due to a litany of injuries. Who knew this would turn out to be the last fight for Tehuna's MMA career? 52 seconds into the fight, James was caught by a right hook from Bossy that knocked him out. After the match, James was rushed to the hospital from a suspected bleed on the brain test results showed multiple concussions. James eventually left his MMA career. CJ Hancock Clovis Hancock, aka CJ Hancock, made his debut in the Bellator promotion before moving on to LFA. Holding a record of 2-3-0, CJ's career came to the edge when he was pronounced clinically dead while still in the cage. For his match against Charlie Ontiveros, Hancock attempted a brutal weight loss from 215 pounds to 170 pounds, for which he paid a massive price. He collapsed to the canvas in the second round of the fight due to kidney failure. 
At the same time, his heart stopped twice while still in the cage as the doctors desperately tried to revive him using a defibrillator. Although he was brought back to life, his career officially ended after the incident. Zach Kirk Amateur fighter Zach Kirk had little time in his MMA career when he faced a near-death experience. Seven seconds into the fight, Kirk was caught in a standing guillotine choke and attempted to counteract it by dropping to the mat. However, the landing proved to be life-changing. While landing, Kirk shattered the C5 vertebrae in his neck, with bone pieces becoming lodged in his spinal cord. After that, Kirk was paralyzed from the neck down, although he has gained some limited movement over time. Dada 5000 Dafir Harris, also known as Dada 5000, had his career come to an end after his drastic weight loss resulted in tragic results. For his fight against Kimbo Slice, Dada cut over 40 pounds, which took an unexpected toll on his body. During the second round of the fight, he started to suffer from kidney failure. Worst case scenario, he suffered a heart attack in the third round while everyone assumed he'd been caught with a fight-ending punch. Dada woke up several hours later in the hospital after two heart attacks, renal failure, and severe dehydration. Travis Lutter 47-year-old retired MMA fighter Travis Lutter's career came to an end after his fight against Rafael Natal in 2010. Despite suffering a stinger during his last training session before the bout, Lutter still fought, and the next thing he got was regret. During the first round of the fight, he was dropped by punches from Rafael with follow-up ground and blue, sealing a knockout stoppage victory. Although the knockout wasn't lethal, the impact made Lutter undergo major surgery for a three-level fusion in his neck. Doctors also discovered his previous injury, fractured vertebrae, which had gone undiagnosed. Michael Bisping. Sometimes it's hard for people to quit doing what they enjoy in life. A similar thing happened with retired MMA fighter Michael Bisping. Even after suffering a potential career-ending eye issue, Bisping carried on his MMA career, risking his sight and without seeking medical help. Although he underwent surgery, his retina redetached later. During the follow-up surgery, a portion of his retina had to be removed due to scar tissue. Even after losing his one eye, he continued his fight career and went on to win the 185-pound belt. However, things were no longer in his favor. In 2017, after being KO'd by Kelvin Gastelum, Michael started having problems with his other eye. Later, doctors diagnosed him with a vitreous detachment. After a while, he concluded on quitting his MMA career and retired. So which one was the deadliest injury to you in this video? Let us know in the comment section down below and subscribe to our channel.